The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet, Jesus answered. Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him, for this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Praise and honor. Help us, O oh Christ, to love one another. Amen. Tonight we participate in our Maundy Thursday service, along with many Christians all around the world who are doing something similar. Tonight, as you just heard in the Gospel reading, we stop to remember Jesus. We do some things that will help us to remember what Jesus wanted us to do. We tell the story every year because we don't want to forget what Jesus told us is so very important. The word Monday means command, and today has its name because it is the day that Jesus gave his new command to love one another. He used few words, and he, and he did what was so powerful and what helps us at least to try and understand what Jesus says is important. Some of you who teach or who have taught know this. It is more powerful to show your students something and invite them physically to practice or participate in what you as the teacher hope 
to communicate. Our wonderful godly play teachers know that just as powerful as their words are to tell the stories they share in Christian formation, it is also very powerful to use the pieces or objects that help show what the stories tell. Whether it is photography, horseback riding, music, soccer, or writing, all of the words in the world cannot really connect with a student so much as actually doing what the teacher is teaching. In both the foot washing part of the gospel story tonight, which sadly we cannot offer due to safety restrictions during the pandemic, however, if there are others in your safety bubble, you could do the foot washing in your homes. So in both the foot washing part and the Last Supper part of the story that we share tonight, Jesus used touch or movement, much more so than words, to offer something his closest, closest friends might be able to absorb. Actually, Jesus was beyond words to explain the mystery of how interconnected we are through God's love. So he had to do something different to help them grasp what he wanted them never to forget. We hear tonight how Jesus touched his disciples by washing their feet, and then also how he broke bread with them. His goal seemed to be, how can I make sure my disciples, my closest friends, will remember me? I remember our former bishop, Porter Taylor, saying about Monday Thursday that those disciples eventually got it. They discovered that touch is everywhere. To their surprise and delight, they found that when they washed one another's feet, they washed the feet of Jesus. When they broke bread and drank wine in his name, it didn't matter where they were or even what year it was. Jesus was there. When we today in 2021 do these things, we know Jesus in our lives. We will remember him. When we gather around tables like this one and we tell the story over and over and eat the bread, we find out that this church, St. Philip's Episcopal Church in Brevard, North Carolina, in 2021, is the upper room. It is when Jesus came into Jerusalem. We know that we can remember Jesus in this sacred place whenever we come here or when we gather virtually for Eucharist. Now, whatever you do, don't turn out and miss this next part. <laughs> we don't only know Jesus right here tonight, but also we know that after we have eaten the bread, we are sent into the world to touch our brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus. We go into the world and we reach out and we touch. We share bread with those around us because we remember Jesus. Just as Jesus modeled servanthood and kneeled before his disciples as he washed their feet, we remember and we kneel down to others, our family, our friends, and those we don't even know. If we truly remember him, it won't be by being served, but by serving. If we truly remember him, it won't be by being served, but by serving. It is important we remember Jesus on that night long, long ago, but it is also important we remember tonight that Jesus is in every man and woman today. He connected us, all of us, with him forever when he washed the feet of his friends, when he broke bread with them, when he gave the command that we are to love one another. Tonight, we remember the ways Jesus made all of us part of his heart. Each person in this space or watching virtually is Jesus. Each person we pass on the sidewalk out here on Main Street is Jesus. 
What happened when Jesus told this story long ago is that he connected us to him forever. What he has done is place himself inside every person. What he has done is given us the gift to remember him. And because we remember him, we want to help each other follow his command that we love one another. Now, loving one another probably will look different to each of us based on our unique callings. When we help our family or neighbors through difficult times, we love them by being patient, kind, and thoughtful. When we see all people as our brothers and sisters in Christ's name, we speak up for justice, equality, respect for everyone, no matter one's color or gender or physical and mental ability or culture. When we care for God's creation, we speak up about how to help it last, and we change our ways of consumption so that we keep giving life to plants, animals, people, not just for our sake and our children's, but for many generations to come. When we love our neighbors in this parish, when we love each other, the people in Transylvania County, in our diocese, in the world, we are loving Jesus. Tonight, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Amen.